motivated by hate and bent on killing their neighbors. Investigators say the four men from our area used their faith to justify planned attacks on houses of worship. Their alleged targets include two synagogues in Riverdale and also the Air National Guard base at Stewart Airport in Newburgh. It's a terrifying scenario stopped by the FBI and the NYPD. We have team coverage beginning with CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez live outside federal court in White Plains. Hazel. Well, Don and Christine, the federal investigators say the suspects are four men with a shared hatred for America. They're accused of orchestrating a chilling terrorist plot to kill Jews and take down U.S. military planes, allegations that have left their family and friends stunned. First word is shock. Most who know the four suspects in the alleged terrorist plot say they can't believe any of them could harbor hatred for America or for Jews. I just can't believe it that a friend of mine would try to hurt people in the United States. A different picture was painted in federal court today. Prosecutors described the suspects as extremely violent men who embraced every opportunity for terrorism. The suspects, 55-year-old James Cromaty, the alleged ringleader, 28-year-old David Williams, 32-year-old Onta Williams, and Legarry Payen, all of Newburgh, were charged with conspiracy to use weapons of mass destruction and conspiracy to acquire and use anti-aircraft missiles. Their alleged plan, using surface-to-air guided missiles to take down military planes at the Air National Guard Base in Newburgh and to destroy Riverdale Temple and Riverdale Jewish Center in the Bronx with C4 explosives. According to the criminal complaint, Cromaty, the alleged key man, told an informant, quote, the best target, the World Trade Center, was hit already. Last night, a dramatic arrest by police who busted the four suspects right outside one of the synagogues they were hoping to blow away. Investigators say the four Muslim men met in prison and hatched the terrorist plot at a local mosque. The assistant imam is a parole counselor who worked extensively with suspect Legary Payan, an immigrant from Haiti. I'm puzzled uh, because um, he never gave a hint to being interested in anything like that. The mother of suspect David Williams was too distraught to speak, but his aunt says Williams was not himself at a recent family reunion. When I came and I embraced him like about a week and a half ago, when I held him, I said, something's not right, because I wasn't holding my nephew, the one that I know and love. All four suspects are being held without bail and will be back, will be back in court on June 5th. We're live in White Plains. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.